You know, guys, uh, I just want to take a couple of minutes today, if I possibly can, to talk to you about uh, a guy that maybe you've heard of before, a man named Elon. Mm -hmm. Elon. And uh, we have elected him, of course, the captain of Team Capitalism. Uh, right. Of which I am an afterlife long member. And a lot of the things that he comes up with are very interesting, particularly when <laughs> it comes to space travel. However, people are usually pretty pissed off at him, too, because nobody likes it when somebody earns more money than them. But I just right. want to take a few minutes to look here if we can. Elon Musk is now worth more than Exxon Mobil. <laughs> Holy damn. Man. What's going on with his hair in this picture? It that's looks an, like old, that's an old picture. Yeah, he's yeah. like 15 uh, okay. years old. Or something. Oh he's had a like, receding hairline and thinness in the top there when he was 15. Damn. Well, he already has the. He's stressed. He's been doing a lot of research, I guess, <laughs> man. I don't know. It's pretty ridiculous, though. And a big part of his uh, new growth and wealth is based on the part of this equation that people like to ignore. They go, ah, this guy made all this extra money. He's a fucking asshole because, he made yeah, you don't realize that when businesses turn big profits due to growth, that creates a fuck ton of jobs. And that's yep. pretty goddamn important right now. And where has that been happening recently? Elon's Texas Empire. I yeah, tell you, I don't mind yeah, those words. Baby. Don't mind those words, man. This I'm dude freaking. is expanding all over the fucking place in Texas, dude. Uh, not and only, obviously, buying a city, you know, in order to put a fucking spaceport down there. Now right. there's a uh, new factory, new gigafactory to make Teslas. Uh, dude, he's got shit all over the place, and it's only getting bigger and bigger. So... Every time people want to bitch that he has too much, yeah, maybe so. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, man. Certainly are a lot of motherfuckers that are able to feed their children because of him. So maybe you are take it not a little wrong. bit easy. Although it can get weird sometimes, man. It can get real weird. Especially when it comes to things like Dojalon. What? Huh. What the hell is Dojalon? Well, it's the newest thing on my watch list on Coinbase. Huh. But the newest crypto with the abbreviation Elon is attempting to be the first interplanetary currency. So let's call Whoa. back a couple of things that we talked planetary, about. Planetary, planetary, right. intergalactic. Let's take. Let's talk just a little bit about some of the things we've mentioned earlier this evening. Not only about humanity attempting to become an interplanetary species, but also the slow, painful, grueling death of FICA currency. Man, now. Let me ask you this. If you needed to have transactions between two planets, which country on Earth gets to have their currency be the one that makes that trade? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How much it's fighting have would be happen because of it? That's right. That's right. It would have to be something that could convert to any national currency on any given planet. Yet another excellent use for the aptly named Stellar Network. Bang! <laughs> ba -ba -ba bang! Where it wouldn't matter if you were trying to send U.S. dollars or fucking yen or one or rupees or whatever the fuck, pounds. You know, whatever the fuck it was. Even something worthless like Canadian dollars. You could still <laughs> instantly... Loonies and foonies. That's right. You could still instantly convert it on something like the Stellar Network and send it to another planet. So things get very strange. Now, this isn't necessarily uh, on, on point with what we're talking about with Elon Musk, but I did think it warranted mentioning today. Anyway, back to the point at hand. CNN says 2% of Elon Musk's wealth could help solve world hunger, says the director of UN Food Scarcity Organization. Yeah, you might be right. First of all, they're talking about $6 billion here. $6 billion is the amount they have in mind. The UN uh, Food Scarcity Organization thing they're talking about, they have a yearly budget of $8 billion and have yet to <laughs> solve... <laughs> Right. Uh, world hunger in right. any way, shape, or form. However, however, six billion dollars could go a long way to feeding a lot of hungry people, <coughs> and I understand that. So Musk constantly getting shit for having too much money. What does this championship offense motherfucker turn around and do? He goes, Yeah, I'll do it. You show me the plan, and I'll fucking do it, man. How you like Bang. them apples? Well, god damn it. This is Hell why he's captain yeah. of the team. This is Hell why he is captain yeah. of the team. 
Dude, I got to tell you, I would love our great grandchildren to be able to go, hey, remember when capitalism solved world hunger? God, that would be fucking hilarious, man. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, I don't know why you that too heavy. What's that? I don't mean to get too heavy on your show, but you ever notice how they always say this about Musk and never about Bezos? Oh, right. I know. I know. That's because he's a shit talker. Nobody likes a shit talker when you're trying to get everybody to think the same thing. You know what I mean, yep, man? But absolutely. what I will say is this. His condition, of course, was that A, they show him the plan. The plan is public. And B, as they spend the money, that's public too. So that everybody yep. knows where the fucking money goes. You know what I mean? No bullshitting here. No surprise there was a little bit of silence after <laughs> all of that. But I'll tell you, friends. No matter what this motherfucker does, he's literally going, I'll just give six billion to strangers if you have a good plan for what to do with it. Still, yep. still, motherfuckers find a way to be angry. Elon Musk would rather spend his money on Mars than help people on Earth. Sorry, oh my humans. God. First of yeah. all, he just said he was willing to send, spend six billion on the people on Earth, so... That takes that part out of the equation. And secondly, when it says spend his money, spend his money on Mars. Sorry, humans. Who do you think is on Mars? Right? Womp do you womp. think there you are think... non-humans? Who do you think's going to end up on Mars Please. on the things in the things that he is spending right. money to build? He you just know? wants to build a castle and live there. Oh, alone. just by himself. Right. He's going to dock yeah, the Manhattan. Want, it, huh? He's going to dock. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, Best Levin, but I'm not buying it, man. Man, I'm sorry, be rich if Elon wasn't giving all his money to the Martians. <laughs> <laughs> she inadvertently said the most conservative thing I've ever heard. I, I, I'm just God worried that Martians um, taking all our jobs. Man. Uh, Mr. Wong is on Mars. Like, yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> God damn, that's hilarious. But people will always find a way to be fucking angry. Actually, it'd be great if Elon Musk built a university. And I'll spare you the article where people are mad that he wanted to call it tits. Is he not doing uh. what we want the government to do in building fucking schools, man? Right? If you, if you start something on. out with actually, I... Yeah, right? That's why I can't read these Who articles. Wrote this article, too much, Gamer actually. Believe? Jordan oh, Weissman. Weissman. Someone who works for Slate. Someone Weissman. who works for Slate, and they like it, too. Uh, uh, like I said, man, never fucking ends. Never fucking ends. In one tweet, Elon Musk captures the everyday sexism faced oh by women God. in STEM. Wow. <laughs> you know what they're talking about? Him calling his school the Texas Institute of Technology and Science. Wow. Tits. They're mad at tits. <laughs> How many times have we talked about find me a human being that doesn't like tits? It's hard in coded fairness. on your DNA to like them. You know Mailer what I mean? Fairness, how is it yeah. sexism if we all have tits? I mean... Damn, Philly G breaking this case wide open. Just saying. I'm mm. just saying. Unbelievable, man. But people are always fucking mad. Elon Musk is building a sci-fi world, and the rest of us are trapped in it. We're trapped in this crazy interplanetary oh. plan for the mammoth expansion into a new era of human civilization. We're trapped. It's too did bad this moron, because I did went this moron and looked. Write it? Right. Well, I'll tell you, I went and looked uh, for the worlds they were building. Yeah, not so much, man. Uh, 